This is the summary for lesson 13. And it's showing you once again that congruent images can be transformed, um, moved to cover the other image, and also all the parts of each image are the same. So in this case, these two ovals are congruent. You can rotate the, the um, oval on the left, rotate it 90 degrees, and then you can slide it down and it will cover this uh, image exactly. So they are congruent images. They are the same. These two ovals, although the distance across is the same, it's five units, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and the distance from the top most part to the bottom part is also the same. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. But notice where the position is of the top point in each case and the bottom point. In the left one, it is shifted, or it's actually, it's two and a half units from one end and two and a half units from the other end, so it's right in the middle. But on the right one, it's shifted over um, about a half a unit, so it's three units from the left and two units from the right. So those two ovals are not congruent. They are not the same. And so it's three units from the left and two units for the right. So more information, more understanding of what a congruent image is and what a congruent image is not. So the summary for lesson 13.